Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to another video. Today I'm going to be explaining the process of cell signaling. Now cells need to be able to communicate with each other just as much as people do and they're able to achieve this via special molecules called signaling molecules. For example, hormones are a type of signaling molecule. Now the process of a cell receiving and then acting on a signal is actually a three-step process involving reception, transduction, and then the cellular response. Now the first step, reception, involves the signaling molecule binding to the specific receptor, so we'll have a complementary shape, on the target cell. Now, whether this signaling molecule is hydrophilic or hydrophobic will determine the site of the receptor. For example, if the signaling molecule is hydrophilic, then this, the receptor for that molecule will be found on the cell surface. Whereas if that signaling molecule is hydrophobic, it will be able to diffuse through the cell membrane and therefore the receptor can be found in the cytosol or even in the nucleus. Now, the second step is transduction. Transduction is the process of turning the extracellular signal into an intracellular signal that can be acted upon by the cell. Now this usually involves a change in the receptor due to the binding, then activating other molecules within the cell, such as secondary messengers that will then go on and activate other molecules, sort of like a cellular relay. Now the third step is a cellular response. The cellular response can be carried out when the effector molecules within the cell have been activated by that transduction process. Now, cellular response can be a variety of different things. For example, it could be a change in gene expression, which is quite common for hydrophobic signaling molecules. It could even be cell movement. So there can be quite a range. So that's my summary of signaling transduction and cell signaling. Thanks for watching.